the guys are back making some awesome progress looks like they're about to top out over there on the far side but things are moving so now they're shooting grade to make sure that the block is level because that top course is very important because that's what your floor system sits on so if it's a half inch out of level then your whole floor will be at a level so now they're they've got two more courses right here they got two more courses to go and now they're trying to get everything really close because that top course they can't they don't want to have to adjust that top course you know half inch or three quarters of an inch because that's hard to do with just one mortar joint so this right here you can see we have a ledger here and then this ledger all the way down through here so what we did is we laid 12 inch block all the way up to here and this is where all the backfill is going to be the most structural part of the wall and then this here is our brick ledger so this is where our brick will start we step back to an eight inch block left us a four inch brick ledger and allow us to start laying brick and that way we don't have to lay brick all the way from the footer all the way up this wall because that's going to be buried it'd be a total waste of money to lay all that brick so rocking and rolling things are looking good
From this side, you can really tell how big this rascal is. A lot of wall. And these guys have done this in two, they worked two half days last week. And they are working, they worked yesterday a full day and today it's right now lunchtime, so they'll be done by the end of the day today. So really three full days laid the block for this whole basement and garage. So now they're putting in the rebar to reinforce the wall because of the height of this wall. Code requires it be reinforced. Normally you would only pour the sails full, fill the sails where the, the rebar is full of concrete, but we're gonna pour this whole thing solid full of concrete. So the guys are almost finished. We're having to take out a little bit of block over there. We got a little too high because that's actually going to be a bedroom in the basement. And in order to get egress on the window over there, I had to lower the block. We got a little too high on the block over there. So touching that up, they've got the 12 inch block and the header block around the daylight side of the basement. So this is basically just forming up our basement slab is what that will do and also get us up out of the ground a little bit here you can see the brick ledger over here so everything's looking good they're going to finish laying the block here for the garage and we'll be done uh one other little thing that's really important you see this little groundhog hole down here and that's a weep hole so that we can get a drain in so this whole area in here is our garage. So this will be totally backfilled with 57 stone and um, have a concrete slab on it. So if any moisture ever gets trapped in here, because we have a block wall over here too, and then this block wall, so that is totally enclosed. So if moisture gets in there, it has nowhere to go. So this is our weep hole. So we'll actually run a drain, perimeter drain, around our foundation all the way around through here and that drain will actually come from in the garage come through this weep hole and allow moisture to escape that way we don't have moisture problems in our basement so it is looking good about to get finished up so by the end of the day today this thing will be done Right when you're about to finish, the heavens open up. A little afternoon rain shower. So the guys are taking cover. Wherever they can. So we're just waiting out the rain.
So the rain's moved out. We're back in action. Gonna finish up, finish the day strong. Working on the garage right now. They're fixing over there where I gotta put that window in in the basement. And the plumbers will be here tomorrow morning. So we'll start putting our um, under slab plumbing in tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow and Saturday. Hopefully get that inspected Monday. And then on Tuesday, start throwing in the gravel, getting it in under the slab in the basement. Um, and then Friday, August 5th, uh, we have concrete ordered and we are scheduled to pour our basement slab. So that'll be a really big milestone. So you don't have to walk around in the mud. You'll actually have somewhere to walk around. And um, so, yeah, we're excited. Things are looking up. Laid our block last week. Everything's good, finished up. And now we're gonna start putting some stone in. We've got our first load delivered this morning. It is wet, it is muddy. When it gets really fun. But you'll notice this uh, weekend, our plumber came and put it roughed in all our under slab pump plumbing. So we roughed in a bathroom over there in the basement. And then this pipe we stubbed up, that's gonna catch all the upstairs plumbing that's coming down the wall, right through there, into that pipe and out. And then we also roughed in a sink drain here so that we can put a kitchenette here if we ever decide to for a downstairs. So this is it, we've got all our rebar in Everything's ready for inspection. The inspector should be here any minute to inspect our under slab plumbing and also our foundation. And good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise and we can uh, pour the slab, this basement slab, this Friday. And we're gonna pour our concrete walls uh, solid with concrete. So we've got about 60 yards of concrete ordered for this Friday. And we'll get that, uh, Hopefully get that done and get in and then we'll be out of the mud and hopefully be ready to start framing. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for coming along.